Really excited to be joined by girls basketball coach Adam Lonnen and Coach Lonnen uh, this year got a nice balance of some returning players plus some, some newcomers. So just as you've worked through this preseason phase and now had a scrimmage or two under your belt, um, how are things coming together with that balance of new as well as returning players? Yeah, I mean, last year we lost two key pieces in Sophie Dolan and Addie Wynn, uh, but we did bring back most of that roster, like you said. Um, seven returning pieces is always nice, especially when you have a bunch of young girls coming in. So we've got four really good freshmen. Um, they actually, <laughs> four out of the five top scorers the other night in our scrimmage were freshmen. So it was just kind of refreshing to see some of those girls step up early on. Um, but it really talks about the leadership, too, that some of those upperclassmen, uh, between Farrah Berry, Alexa Linton, Ceylon Duncan, uh, Lulu Antol, uh, they've really been pushing those girls in practice, so I'm excited. Yeah, so it sounds like, you know, I know last year we were able to cover a lot of games. Depth at times was, was an issue, especially when there were some injuries or illnesses and things of that nature. Uh, so you think you might have a little bit, a little bit deeper squad this year? Absolutely. Last year we only carried nine girls. Um, this year we'll have 13. Uh, so it's nice to have, like you said, some depth in the roster. Um, and I also think it's going to help having a uh, few big girls. So we added a 6'2 girl in Adina Swellman this year. Um, helping out with her in the back is obviously going to be Lily and Alexa Linton. Um, so having that depth there. We're always pretty deep in the guard spot, but having some other girls that we get in foul trouble underneath the basket, having those girls step up, that's important for us. And then, you know, basketball coaches, we always love to talk about style of play. And I'm sure you've spent a big chunk of the off season, you know, through the summer and fall, thinking about how the pieces are going to fit together. And sometimes it doesn't always work out how you plan in the off season. But um, as we sit here on the eve of the season, what do you expect to be the style of play that we can look forward to, to see on the court this winter? I think for all of my teams, I love for them offensively to play wide open. Um, and that's what's so in confidence, especially for girls basketball. I really want them to play confident, take the shots when they're there. Um, but normally for us in our offense, we like to run high pick and roll work. Um, adding Adina obviously helps that out, um, allows them free fair up off that pick and roll, and also allows kickouts in case somebody's digging it on defense. Uh, but on the defensive end, it's always about hard work and just getting on the floor and being gritty. Um, I think that's really what it comes down to, having that extra in factor um, on that side of the floor, which then translates into fast breaks on offense, or it kind of translates to easy baskets, which helps on the offensive end as well. So, And I know you're the kind of coach, I'm sure, who, if I ask you this question, I'm sure your first reaction is going to be that you're just concerned about us and, and what you can control. But LIS basketball is, is really high level. You got some of the top teams in the state that, that you got to see multiple times during the season. Um, so what can we expect just in general with the league this year, do you think? Yeah, I think you're going to be surprised with what we do in the league. Um, but there's still some super heavy hitter teams. Staff's always going to bring out very, very competitive basketball. St. Gertrude's always going to be really good, um, even though they lost a couple of key pieces. Uh, but you can never take a night off in the LIS. Literally every single game is going to mean something. We've got St. Margaret's coming back this year, um, and they're going to add a little bit more depth in the conference. So again, having two more conference games to where um, I think we catch them this year on a back-to-back. -back. So uh, kind of anything, anything will happen there. But I really love the development of the girls. We talked about that last year, that development and growth. I think this year it's going to be um, for us really putting our mark and putting our stamp on what this new era of Trinity basketball is going to be. Have you all had a chance to talk about goals yet? We haven't, no. So we we're going to talk about those actually tomorrow. Our first game is going to be on Wednesday. Um, so I'm looking forward to hearing what some of the girls say. Um, and I think a lot of the girls, team-wise, uh, when they're looking at goals, they're wanting to incrementally just increase that record of you. Um, right after COVID, we went 2-20. It was, it was disastrous for numerous reasons. But um, obviously, we lost a bunch of key pieces. With COVID, it was hard to kind of get into a rhythm. Um, last year, we ended up going 8 and 12, so you're talking about a six win uh, in the positive there. Um, so if we can get another four to six this year, we'll really be doing well. So That sounds great. Well, we can't wait to uh, see what you guys do uh, up here on Travis Court here at the Essence Athletic Center. And really excited for this girls' season. And thank you so much for joining us, Coach Lonnon. I appreciate it. Thanks, Rick. All right, man. And Lloyd, nice joined here by Farrah Berry and Ceylon Duncan. Uh, mm -hmm. Ceylon, you're the captain of this uh, girls basketball team. What are you looking forward to for this year? Um, this year I'm looking forward to energy and just having fun as a team, you know, team chemistry and stuff. And I'm definitely bringing the aggression and energy for the whole year. Yeah, that sounds really good to hear. Farrah, I know you've come back uh, from really a, a horrific uh, injury that you suffered through last year. We're able to come back and play uh, in the latter half of the season. 
uh, what's it like for you to be able to come into this season healthy and, and ready to play? It's so good, you know, being able to play, being be, being able to be back on the court, just mentoring our new freshmen, our transfers. It's really a great experience. Yeah, that's really good to hear. Um, I wanted to ask you both. Uh, we talked a little bit before about the the four new freshmen and uh, an additional transfer student this year. Uh, is there anything particular you're looking from those uh, new players to add to the team? Just energy and act like you want to be here. You know, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're all going to contribute a very important aspect to our team. Yeah, that's really good to hear. Um, I wanted to talk about more of like what you guys will do in practice. What's a typical practice look like? Um, do you guys really focus a lot on scrimmaging? Are there certain drills that you kind of always come back to? Um, we definitely do a lot of shooting. We have to run if you don't shoot well enough. So that's definitely an important aspect of our game. Shooting and ball handling, and for our post players, we do like post player moves. And then sometimes at the end of all that, we all come together and do a scrimmage. But other than that, we work on plays and film. That's it. Do you have any additional thoughts? I'll just back that. Uh, this year, we're really focusing a lot more on film and making sure our plays are really well developed. Yeah, I wanted to, maybe not without going into detail uh, about any of your plays, obviously we wouldn't want to leak <laughs> any of those, but is there anything specific that you're, you're focusing on as a team that you want to improve on from last year? Hey, maybe we've kind of struggled in this area uh, that you want to really improve on this year? Yeah, I just want everybody to have their strengths and weaknesses. Everybody wants the ball in a specific place. So if we can just give them where the ball, well, they want the ball and where they feel comfortable shooting and making that shot, I feel like that's a very important part of our plays. Yeah, we've always been a team that loves to shoot, but with the addition of our new freshman, Adina, who's about six foot, you know, we're really making sure we're focusing on more paint plays. Yeah, it's really good to hear a lot, a lot of uh, a well-roundedness, as I'm sure most basketball coaches really look forward to implementing on their teams. Uh, I wanted to ask you guys maybe a, a little bit more uh, a fun tradition questions. Uh, is there a certain pregame uh, meal that you would like to eat before any uh, games? <laughs> Everybody knows me, I walk around with a mango and I just fill it with my mouth. I have my little cup, I eat a mango right before a game. Mango and an apple, that's it, I need energy. <laughs> I usually don't eat before games, but I will tease Ceylon about it. <laughs> yeah, everybody teases me about that. <laughs> yeah, that's really good to hear. Uh, do you guys have a, a hype song that maybe the team listens to all together to get you guys going? Um, we have a lot of songs. Uh, it's not just one, it's not just one artist. I don't feel comfortable saying that because I know my parents are watching. Hi guys. Quick shout out to the parents, Sarah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we all just kind of like to blast the music. It's a really a more of a team bonding thing before games. All right, yeah, that's really good to hear. I um, uh, wish you guys best of luck this season, and uh, I know you guys are going to go out and kill it on the court. Thank you guys uh, so much for watching.